Hello everybody, it is Clash's Gut here and today I'm gonna record a scratch tutorial on how to make a tank shooter game. So let's start. Now I have to get rid of the scratch cap and paint our own sprite. You're gonna use the square tool. We don't want an outline and change the fill to a grayish color. Zoom in and then draw a square, which will be the body of our tank. Now use the square tool again, except this time I'm going to change it a bit darker and draw the cannon on the tank like that. Move that. Use the arrow keys to move it so it's perfectly in the middle. Now I have to use the, using the same color. I'm going to draw another rectangle over here as its wheels and then click on that copy paste and put another one down here so that is basically it for the tank graphics let's go to code so when clicked broadcast gonna say set up when I receive set up repeat until now I'm going to make a variable here and call it exit so repeat until exit is bigger than nothing we're going to put some code in there but first I have to set exit to nothing now I have to make a block called move so repeat until exit bigger than nothing move and I have to define move so so if key up arrow pressed and then I got to duplicate that and then duplicate that until we have four Except we're going to change that to down arrow, right arrow, left arrow. Now we're going to use this turn. So if right arrow pressed, turn three degrees towards the right. If left arrow pressed, turn three degrees to the left. And now we're going to make a variable called speed for, actually, no, it's for all sprites for exit and speed gonna go set speed to let's say four and then we're gonna move speed steps and for down arrow we have to go speed multiplied by negative one so you can duplicate that move speed multiply by negative one steps so now we gotta do this go to zero zero so in the middle of the field set size to we can make it a bit bigger 120 percent so let's try and then you can use the arrow keys to move your tank that is a bit fast for tanks so we're going to change that to two so you can move it slower still a bit fast we'll change that to maybe 1.5 pretty good i think you can make that larger 140 good now let's go to backdrops and we can make this backdrop a let's go with a light greenish color that is going to change that a bit looking pretty good now we have to make a bullet so the tank can actually shoot so we'll make it a red bullet zoom in and make a bullet or just a circle in the middle 
that's pretty good. And now, when clicked, you want it to hide. When I receive setup, repeat until exit bigger than nothing. If key space press, which is like the trigger, so space is the shooting button. If key space pressed, then create clone of myself. Wait one second. Okay, so when I start as clone, repeat until touching edge move 10 steps delete this guy so to make sure this bullet actually follows the tank we have to put some code in here go to sprite one which is the tank and point in direction direction of sprite one so when it starts as clone we want it to hide and when it comes out of that cannon we want to show so repeat until not touching color what is there Oops. wait no i have to try that again i think i went on the grass there sure Oops, we've got a bit of a problem here. So I'm gonna go if touching color, then hide else show. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in here and now let's see if this works. So move it around and then press space and yes our bullet comes out now there's a problem that bullet is a bit too big so you have to set size to let's go 40 percent and now let's try again oops there we go looking pretty good so if you turn the bullet will still fire in the same direction so that is basically it for now i will be releasing more videos this is just part one on how to make a tank shooter game be sure to like and subscribe and watch out for my next video which will make the ai enemies thanks for watching with clashes gut and see you next time